Now, with Ross Sullivan emerging as the best suspect in decades, they head to ASOC Laboratory in San Diego, one of the most advanced DNA testing facilities in the country. Let's do this. For the first time, they will examine evidence from the Riverside crime scene with state-of-the-art technology. We know that if this crime was Zodiac, it was early on during his killing career, which means he was making mistakes. So there's potential that the killer left his DNA on the evidence. And if we can solve Riverside, we can solve Zodiac. All right, so this is our pants. Oh, yeah. 50 years ago. It looks so well preserved with the, the soil, and there's indications, I'm sure, by the evidence technicians back then of where they tested. Right. That's telling me that that was coming up positive for blood. This evidence was last tested in 2000, but this lab is armed with brand new DNA technology not available at that time. Look at that, Sal, right there. These drops are circular compared to the smears of the other areas, as if, you know, the blood is coming down. It, it very well could be the suspect's blood. I immediately recognized a blood pattern at the bottom of those pants that were different than the others. Without a doubt, it looked like the killer's blood, but he cut himself while stabbing her. That's a game changer, because it's something new that no one else has seen. That could be Zodiac's DNA. Well, I would like to find out if this is actually uh, potentially blood or not. Right. So we're going to do a quick presumptive test. So first, I just need to collect some of the stain. This is the first time this stain, which appears to have been left by the assailant, has ever been tested. If it's positive for blood, we're going to see a pinkish color change. So if you can see that right, right along here, there's a little bit of a pinkish color change that's indicating that this is blood. I mean, this is a tremendous break for us. ASOC specializes in getting DNA from trace amounts and degraded evidence. If our suspect's DNA is on those pants, we can possibly identify the killer of Sherry Jo Bates. We can potentially identify Zodiac. Focusing on the suspicious blood stain, the technician utilizes MVAC suction technology, which is 22 times more powerful at extracting DNA than traditional methods. See the discoloration? That could all be DNA from our suspect. The DNA will be sent to a forensics lab in Virginia to try and create the first ever DNA profile of the Riverside Killer. The question, will it match the Zodiac?